Okay. Grizz is gonna swim over the ladder and begin his ascent. I'm gonna look okay, at so you said your underwear was white, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> you you look pretty much naked. 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 <laughs> Good. So, make a climb check. I want to see how uh, fast you climb the ladder. Uh, climb is strength, I believe. Yep. Believe? Plus eight. That's 48, not eight. Eight. You climb the ladder fast enough that the guard uh, is still looking at Haywood um, not too happily. And he sees a now apparently naked dwarf. <laughs> Uh, ascend from the water. Just standing like this. <laughs> Good day, sir. What the hell do you think you're doing? Having me a nice old swim, all right. He, he marches over to you, brandishing the stick threateningly. You can't just run into the canal dock place naked. What are you you're talking about? You're disturbing the citizens. I didn't see a sign or anything like that. No well, swimming. You don't need signs for common fucking sense. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I I was definitely I needed you don't to. Know. I needed to swim. I you need it to... needed to be done. No, it didn't. You can't just <laughs> swim anywhere. Well, I did. <laughs> and you're gonna have to pay for that, laddie. <laughs> Now listen, brethren. You know sometimes a dwarf's just gotta go swim, you know that. Really? That's news to me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where you were raised, but where I was from, all the dwarfs were swimmers. Every single one. There's a difference one. between a dwarf being a swimmer and being a great lunatic <laughs> who just strips naked and jumps into rivers. Or lakes, docks. Is that the issue here? Places. My that massive girth, is that the issue? <laughs> well, then allow me to clothe myself, sir. Unless you I prefer me to stay you. this way. He lets you oh. put clothes. While, while you're putting your clothes on, he's, he's taking out like a little notepad and writing on it. I'm just gonna put. I'm gonna start walking away. <laughs> You start walking away. Uh, he runs after you and catches up to you. Oh, oh you again? Yeah, me. <laughs> You've still got some fines to pay. Fines? Fines. That's what happens with minor misdemeanors. Like what? How much are we talking here? I was having a fine good time, if that's what you're talking about. <laughs> well, he brings out his pad. We have swimming in a non-designated area. Stripping naked in public. No disturbing, signs. Disturbing the peace. That young lady who came over, by the way, like, throughout that entire altercation, Lysandra just looked totally horrified. <laughs> the young I ought to find you for not putting a sign up. I don't what is this? Rules. I just enforced them. He rips off the piece of paper from his notepad <laughs> and hands it to you. I'm just gonna look at it and not like grab it. I'm like looking at what it says. Um, like if there's a has, number on it. Yeah. The number is how much gold do you have? Uh three thousand two hundred and seventy. The number is three hundred and seventy five gold. Holy fuck. And on the next episode of Cops. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take the notepad from him. I mean, take the paper from him. <laughs> take, <the notepad. laughs> take it right on. <laughs> now, you better pay your fines or you're gonna be in deep shit. Alright, who, who am I supposed to pay then? Well, you know, the courthouse is over there. You'll have to pay when they're open because it's the middle of the night. So you're saying I can't pay my fine right now? Correct. So why bother even paying it anyway? What if I forget? I'm gonna forget. This is gonna- I'm gonna lose this piece of paper. Well, you see, I have my own copy, and if you don't have the fine paid in a week, we're gonna find you, and, like, not kill you, but throw you in jail. Well, you gonna find me again? Yes. <laughs> 
you may, here may not have noticed, but you're in a magic city where we do magic shit. Uh, make a reflex save. Uh, three. <laughs> Thirteen. So, you notice him pull something out of his belt, and you try to dodge away, but you don't. <laughs> Just kind of smacks it on your forehead. <laughs> what? Uh, you feel like a little bit of a tingly, uh, almost burning sensation. Ah! Oh! <laughs> what now the we'll hell? Know where you are? You shouldn't have told me you were planning on, you know, not paying your fines. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I was just suggesting if I can't pay it now and I can't pay it tomorrow, what if I'm gone? What is this on my face now? I'm hideous enough! Yes, you are. <laughs> Honestly, I know. it makes you look better. <laughs> oh, really? No. <laughs> <laughs> you. <laughs> so you're saying I should keep this on my face and not pay the fine? Is that what you're. Suggesting. I don't know if you want to be hunted down and thrown in jail. All right, I'll play, pay the bloody fine, but you should really put some signage up here. Well, you can make a formal complaint at the courthouse when you pay your fine. <laughs> Dismissed. All right. I'll be doing the dismissal here. Sort of wraps you on the head with his nightstick. You're dismissed. <laughs> <laughs> I dismiss your dismissal. Is, where does Hair delete this whole time? Did he ever come back? I was waiting for my opportunity to speak again. <laughs> he was oh, in an alley. Okay. Um, he did say words, but he wasn't. He like got cut off by chaos. Sorry. So uh, now that that's over, you can do whatever. <laughs> I was going uh, to look for a poison supplier if there was one. All the shops are closed. No, not the shops in the back alleys and stuff. I don't think they, there's an official you don't find poison, poison shop. Suppliers in shops. Yeah. You find well, you would like, be bag surprised. Bag uh, cocaine. So Metal. make a search check. Right. Uma bars. Uma bars. <laughs> So, that is my search. You said it was 375, right, Bear? Yes, 375. Don't mark it down yet. You haven't paid your fine yet. I know, I'm just making note of that. You need to leave him the fine okay. with, a, with a generous bowl of pea soup. <laughs> so, you're searching through the back alleys, and you do find a guy who appears to be selling some sorts of herbage. Okay. Hi, man. Um, I'm gonna walk up to him. And I say, uh, um, you notice what, what, that it, you notice that it's a gnome. Yeah, of course it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I stoop down to the fucking gnome. Actually, no, I'm not gonna stoop down. I say, uh, <laughs> greetings. Greetings, you know, friend. Okay, uh, it seems like you are a purveyor of particular kind of supply that I would like to purchase, and I kind of motion over at his uh, stock that he what, How does he have his inventory display? I'm assuming it's not just out in the open, like, look at all the fucking stuff. <laughs> um, you caught a glimpse of him handing out, out of his cloak to another customer, and you could tell that it was herbs from that. And uh, basically I say, uh, I would like to. Uh, I would like to skim through your inventory and see what you got. He opens up his cloak. <laughs> he's nude. It's too late. <laughs> no, he's not. He's wearing clothes. Um, he's like, you're in luck. I have the best stock in town. Oh, I am Um, I'm gonna say I I'm looking for stuff that not lethal. Um, well, it wouldn't be very good if it was lethal, would it? No, but I'm looking for things that are um, paralytic poisons, incapacitating poisons, um, that sort of. 
is is poison a new code word that I'm not familiar with around here? Well, okay, I didn't say poison to him. That was more of me saying like what I'm looking for. But um, basically, what I'm I'm looking for are no, things. What you say to him is going to be important here. Okay. Um, Six toys. I basically say uh, I'm looking for. Now I have um, I have craft, I have poison making as a skill. Um, yeah. So okay. I would know. J should I roll something to, or would I just have background knowledge of what ingredients are used to make paralytic poisons, or like um, doses and shit like that? So you can see what he has with him. Go ahead and roll a knowledge nature to see what kind of herbs he even has. Um, or make, like, a craft poison check to see if they'd be anything useful for poison, but not specifically. I'll make a craft poison check. That is my craft poison check. Um, you can tell that some of the herbs would be useful for, like, a hallucinogenic poison, but not anything that would be paralytic. Uh, I suppose sedative would be an okay word to describe some of them. Okay. Um, basically, I say to him, uh, knowing what the herbs are, um, I'm going to point those out and say, I would like to... What is this LinkedIn screen? Oh my <laughs> god. Oh. <laughs> 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 That's amazing. <laughs> Except Frizz had his beard shaved, remember? It's okay, gotta be I, starting I to grow back like now. Ball, but... Oh yeah, that's true. I just do it like the beginning. Which one is which one is me? The back the one. The one at the front with the pointy ears. <laughs> oh gotcha, I thought okay. who's in the no, back? The back one is me. Yeah. I thought always thought you looked like that's a freak. That's a... up. <laughs> It's Sawyer, then there's Lance to the left, then there's me in the middle, and Lissandra to the right, and then there's, uh, fucking Mr. Dallas there in my one <laughs> hand, and then there's Tyrion in my other hand. Oh, I need to put this on the stream. I like stream. how his butt's poking out. <laughs> like, it's got a very clear definition. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm gonna point out those, those herbs and say I would like to, uh, take a look at those. Oops. Ah, that's some of the good stuff. Just me, or um, it's just getting better. Does I'm assuming that you know the quality of these herbs? They look uh, legit. Like nothing. It's not like they're spoiled or or um, anything like that. There's there's a variety of quality. Uh, they'd all be useful in making stuff, okay. but you can definitely tell that some of them are stronger than others. All right. Well, I'm gonna try to buy. I'm gonna say. Well, I'd like to get some of your strongest uh, stuff here, and I'm gonna grab, or not grab, but I'm going to point out these these uh, herbs here for the, uh, what would be used to make the uh, sedative mm -hmm. stuff. And I guess the hallucinogenetic, or hallucinogen, that one. <laughs> yeah, that well. hallucinogenetic, Hall yeah. fuck, Hallucin yeah, that yeah, word. Yeah, it's hard to say. So, I, I point those out and I say, um, how much would that be in totality? Um, well, it depends on how much you want of each of them. What was uh, that? How much for... Because sometimes, like, your thing, like, gets all blocked, or, oh, like, there's, four... like, black boxes across your thing. Yeah, I was trying to put your picture up there. Oh. I got it up there How now. much for, like, uh, four doses of each? Hmm. Well, really? this is some high-quality shit, so I'll go with 125 gold. Yeah. So I really got a lot of the keyboard in that picture. Whoops. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to roll diplomacy, see if I can okay. get him down a little bit. I'm gonna say, well, what about a hundred gold? Question mark. Sixteen. <laughs> uh, 
looks at you and he's like, I you know, I know you're a new buyer and everything, but I don't think you appreciate how dangerous this job is around here. Oh, I no, got I family to feed, you. kiddo. <laughs> kiddo? <laughs> Can't feed him this shit. It's not like I'm selling falafel. <laughs> well, what? what about 115? Make another roll. Bears camera's frozen for me. There we go. Another 60. Falafel. <laughs> he looks at you in the face. He looks at his product. He looks at you in the face. He looks at his product. Ten gold he looks at you. What? It's only a 10 gold difference. I don't think it's uh, too much to uh, bring it up. <laughs> I suppose you're right. How about this? How about this? If the quality I just is agreed good, to your terms. No, I know. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. If the stuff is good, I'll come back for more. How's that? You'll okay. have a guaranteed customer. I can't trust you with that, but money's money. <laughs> Alright. Fair enough. 115 gold. Four doses of each. Alright, um... Basically, uh, after that... I'm going to, um, kind of, uh, bid him a farewell, and then, uh, try to make my way back to where I think these jabronis are. Um, where do you think those jabronis are? I don't know. The, wherever we split up, so, we split up probably right after we enter town. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just so I'm going to go back to there first. The water's, like, right next to when you come into town, right? So. It's true, it is. Let me just write down really quick uh, what I got here. So, so do I have like a, just a purple mark on my face, or? Uh, on your forehead, there's like, uh, you can't see it, but everybody else would be able to. There is, there's like an inscription on your forehead. It's kind of like an Illuminati all-seeing eye. <laughs> cool. Purple. Purple. And, and, and glowy. Alright, so four doses sedative, four poison, four, four doses hallucinogenic, hallucinogenic, whatever. That word. Hallucinogen. Yeah, nice. that Um, okay. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go back there, and if I see any signs of where they might have gone, or if I see them, you know, I'll walk back over to them, but... So, I'm gonna say, because their thing took fucking forever. <laughs> that you do um you as you're walking up you see the guy smack the thing on lance's forehead <laughs> on Chris's forehead okay well um, i don't know what's see, going on so. and you see lissandra still just kind of aghast in the background with oberon peering suspiciously over her head at things okay. happening well, I'm gonna Tyrion's a soaking fucking wet and Haywood's doing whatever I'm, he do I'm gonna go up to <laughs> Haywood and say what the fuck happened while I was gone cause I don't really know what's going on here I don't know well, who that guy is you see <laughs> Riz got naked and jumped into the river. I wasn't naked. <laughs> Oberon decided, hey, Riz needs a friend, but there ain't no fucking way I'm going in there. <laughs> so he picks up Tyrion, and it goes, over you go. And so then Tyrion is in the water with Grizz. Well, Grizz is naked, and Tyrion's full of clothes. <laughs> Some lady over there went, ah! And went to the guard. And the guard <laughs> and started saying words at us. Lissandra's trying to help people get out of the water and then everything's just going awful. And then the guard came over and the guard says to us, he says, you better knock this shit off and slap some purple stuff onto, <laughs> onto Chris's forehead. I want some of says, that purple hey, stuff. fine and put some clothes on, faggot. <laughs> Sounds like fun. All right, well, I'm going to... Uh... After the guard does that shit with with Lance, guard's gone. Guard walked away. Guard walked away. I can't come up to him. Uh, you can try to run after him. Uh, if I have to run after him, I'm not gonna bother. I was gonna see if I couldn't like you know get some of Lance's money. Or he hasn't paid it yet. I haven't paid yet. Correct. You could have like stole a note from him before he slapped the thing on me, but. 
He slapped well, it on me. I was gonna do me. something with it, but if he's already like kind of going away, then I'm not, not gonna yeah. bother. And I'm not gonna charge after. Like, wait. So. <laughs> <laughs> I want one uh, too. Find okay. me. So, are we gonna try to find a, a place to stay for the night, or or what? Nope. You're gonna sleep in the streets. Um. No, that's. Really <laughs> yeah, let's go like to, to uh, set up shop here. Let's go to the pea soup place. So we have to go leave Tyrion in the woods? Like, find a badger? You're nowhere near the woods. <laughs> the woods are way the fuck up place here. The place that had, uh, chocolate milk? This is in the other town. The place with the chocolate milk is over here. Gotcha. Hey, look! I know this person. It's, a uh, fuck, what's his name? I used to play with him and Kyle. Uh, it's Chris. The other Chris. Chris. Yeah, other there Chris. we go. Oh, Chris Howe. How are you doing? <laughs> oh my god, is he, in, uh, is he in the chat or something? Yeah. Yeah. He's asking me what, what was going on. Oh shit. Yeah, there's like, damn, people are talking. It's a little bit here and there. So wait, where is yeah, he made a, dog in. made a face. Dog, I want to see the dog. I must pee. I believe the dog would have been from Kyle's microphone. So we are yeah, staying he's... at the place with the pea soup, correct? No, the pea soup is in Gaddock. No, it is here. What? Fuck. Yeah, Why you're staying at the place with the pea soup. Okay. Um... I guess I will go to the, the bar and ask them... For pea soup? If... or what their best food is of the night. Barkeeper is a dwarf of ambiguous gender. Ambiguous gender? Of amb yes, a dwarf of ambiguous gender. And they turn to you and say, Well, we got some good mac and cheese, laddie. There's always the pea soup. I think I'll pass on the mac or on the pea soup, but I would love to try your mac and cheese. Sorry, you should totally make us mac and cheese now. It sounds <laughs> awesome. Do you want another drink? Shh. You sound <laughs> like you need another drink. <laughs> I need mac and cheese. Anyway, sorry, I interrupted. Man, I wish I had a drink. I you might get it. another. I got water. Yeah, let it. I have in here. There's like week old coffee. <laughs> oh yeah. How much is the mac and cheese gonna cost me? Um, a piddling amount that's not even worth noting. And I do ask, good sir. Do you also? I know you don't have chocolate milk, do you? But do you at least have regular milk? First of all, you called me sir. <laughs> I'm a woman. Can you see? <laughs> Sorry, ma'am. You're all bearded folk. I don't even have a beard! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is this? Do you have the milk? Yes, we do. But all it's right. only for people who aren't rude. Well, how about this? How about I buy you a glass of milk as well? She just kind of looks at you, blinking. Are you trying no? to bribe me? <laughs> what, wait, what, who's he talking to here? What, what kind of bribery is me okay. buying you a glass of milk? What I'm the fuck is your obsession with your freaking milk? <laughs> I'm gonna put, okay, I'm gonna walk up to the barkeep while he's talking to him, and I'm gonna say, how much for rooms? For all of our rooms put together. I motion to the group. A piddling amount is not even worth an I'm going to put the piddling amount on the bar, and I'm just gonna say, there you go, and I'm gonna walk up to my room. You gonna piddle all the bar? Don't you, don't you want the key first? I assume I took the key in that interaction. <laughs> okay. Don't you want the key? <laughs> and I'm gonna try to, whenever I get a chance, I'm gonna go to my room and set up the stuff to make, try to make some poison. Okay. 
Ma'am, I apologize for calling you, sir. It's been a long day. I just... I, sometimes it slips the mind. I will buy you some milk, and I would like some milk, as well as some <laughs> mac and cheese. Fine. You want chocolate milk and mac and cheese? <laughs> no, they don't have chocolate milk here, Kyle. Anybody else ordering anything from the bar? I mean, generic food. I don't really want to get into it, and just go to my room just and not sleep. Not the pea soup. <laughs> I don't own the game, but friends up here own it, and I play it in their place. You play what? Smash 4. Oh. I was super confused. Cause, cause he's freaking out about it, cause I commented oh, I on... Play. I was like, the fuck? I just asked if you had live chickens, and you're like, I don't play that game, but some of my friends are still at like, live chicken? No, sorry. <laughs> I got distracted like a bad DM. Boo. I'll, just, I'll stop Loser. looking at the chat. I'll stop you looking suck. at the chat. <laughs> um, Oops. So, yeah, we've got live chickens. How much for a live chicken, my lady, sir? My lady, sir. <laughs> Three gold. I'll do it. Three gold. Okay. And everybody gets to watch the growth process of me eating a live chicken. Everyone buckle yeah. down. Um, if you try to slaughter it in the bar, people are going to try and stop you. I'm not going to slaughter it. I'm going to eat it. It's going in my mouth. Okay. <laughs> I guess You're so. going to be <laughs> killing <laughs> the chicken <laughs> in the bar, and people are going to try and stop you. <laughs> I'm going to fight them and yell that it's my chicken. I'm They're just crazy. prolonging its demise. Just, we don't care about the chicken being alive or dead. We just don't want the blood all over the fucking place. He'll contain it in his system. One bite, right, Oberon? Just let do us now. <laughs> yes. Wait, wait. Fuck. I don't know what you say. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're gonna. Um, you know, the you're gag gonna... reflex is very well suppressed. <laughs> <laughs> so, for the second time today, Lysandra looks slightly <laughs> aghast because. <laughs> because you just ate an entire fucking chicken. <laughs> um, the chicken lets forth horrible, horrible squeals as you're eating it live. <laughs> As I they... like a lullaby. Mother used to sing me as a child. <laughs> she she just walks up to the bartender, doesn't order anything, grabs her key, and goes to her room. See you tomorrow, Lysandra! Good night, my lady! <laughs> my lady. <laughs> I have to update I feel like my we Wii need U. Give Oberon a fedora. Oberon oh. probably oh. does need a fedora. <laughs> <laughs> Once, once Haywood has completed consuming his milk and mac and cheese, he would like to wander off into the night. Roll a knowledge nature check. <laughs> well, he's wandering off into the city. He's wandering oh. off into the consumption of milk and mac and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Just roll a knowledge nature check. Your milk tasted funny. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Notice I didn't buy anything because of the fucking pea soup incident. <sighs> Chris Wait, is, is going to bed as well. Like, I don't know. We'll see what happens to Sawyer. Well, anyways, I'm... So wait, am I, am I on my, like, off into the night adventure? Yeah, you can wander off into the night. Are we gonna lose him? <laughs> Have I, uh... I've been to the, like, chapel in this town before, right? Yes. Yeah. You have right. been to the Church of Heliod and the Church of Narol, I believe. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, that's the right. The Good Church. The Church of Heliod is the Good Alignment Church. Alright. Uh, Haywood's gonna head towards the Church of Heliod. Heliod. Okay. And... What time of the- how late into the night is it? 
Um, it's probably about 8 p.m. at this point. Okay. It's not that late. Alright. And I mean, I guess when he gets there, he's gonna go in. Does he see anybody around? Uh, there's some priesty people doing priesty stuff. Oh no. Alright. Is there, like, a prayer statue or anything? Yeah, there, there's, like, a big symbol of Heliod right at the, you know, at the big churchy part of the clock. What? <laughs> at the big churchy part of the clock. My mic stand fell over again, and it spilled coffee on me. God oh. damn it. Oh. It's all over. Feels bad, man. 